Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of unusual video, maybe a new type of the video on my channel. I'm planning to have my first reaction slash feedback on each pack, expansion pack, game pack and stuff packs of The Sims 4. I did a couple of videos about The Sims 4 on my channel, I made my sim and I actually started my channel doing sims builds. Basically Somehow I was preparing, I wanted to do something for Halloween. So I got this The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack, but I had no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. It's nowhere near Halloween anymore. And I finally had time to play with it and kind of enjoyed it in a way. So light the candles and prepare the rituals to appease your ghostly new roommates in The Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack. Spectral guests cause mischief and mayhem on haunted house lots, but sims can perform a seance, befriend Gidri the ghost, become a paranormal investigator and restore order. Stuff pack feature, meet ghostly roommates, cleanse your home, calm the spirits. Has a lot of items, which are actually quite nice, kind of boho chic style. I'm pretty sure I used most of the clothing and the hair from this category. Um, and I love the build stuff. I love the curtains, all the little clutter, the plants, the sofa set. Yeah, I think I used all of it as well. So anyhow, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Haunted House Residential by Maxis Description This old estate was a place that Claude René... <laughs> Sorry, once I see French I change to my R to R. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm not even... like, I'm not even able to speak French. Claude René Dapuntier Goudry, once called home... Oh my lord, that's his house, I didn't get it. It is filled with trinkets and curiosities from his travels around the world. After he died and the home was sold to the one and only Dr. Ashley, who took over the home and modernized many of its rooms while keeping the charm of the old estate. Now this home is available once again, but nobody is quite sure what happened to the most recent owner. Interesting. So actually, not gonna lie, I might even show it in or will show the build of this house. So I actually built paranormal daisy home myself and it's on my channel and I made a sim which was supposed to live in this lot it was supposed to be kind of base game slash paranormal stuff packed lot I got like 40 downloads and two likes one of which is mine anyhow it was big success so I put my sim and she tried to understand how the paranormal investigator works and the seance table and all of that and basically she died so I had to start over and I got this uh, sim, um, her name was Mary, Mary Vampire I think. I gave her surname Mac Adams and I placed her here. Actually fun fact, Mary came from library, incredibly skilled, she had a lot of skills and also she had like million six hundred simoleons. I did not expect this and she quickly became my favorite, so she was able to buy not base game, but a more expensive lot, so I got the maxi slot. It's probably one of the most beautiful maxi slots I have ever seen. I do not know who built it, but maxis never built such incredible houses. There's so much detail into it. Well, that's the lot. It's beautiful, right? The entrance, look at the amount of plants they put, the lily pads, and then, but I hope you can see, but there's like all this clutter, walls are filled with stuff and it's beautiful like my favorite room is this dining room i find it beautiful and there's the same seance room on top i have added some paintings that my sim has created in these days but also the bedroom incredible it's also like forbidden double bed and then uh this room was actually kids room i changed it i took out the kids bedroom because i don't think we will see the time when this sim has a child but maybe it will happen so I'll put it back but for now it was here on this kind of leveled room and I think it's also my first ever leveled room and not gonna lie it was difficult to use it was difficult to place things on it but same all the rooms are incredibly 
incredibly decorated, which I love. So I'm not gonna get into the items of the house, we have checked them in the beginning in the description, but I want to share with you some information. Basically, you start from the seance table and you meet with Gidri, <laughs> I don't know how to spell his name, I think it's Gidri, and then you can put the slot as a house, um, haunted house residential. So, and then we can read here the lot features. Ghostly assistants, meet Gidri the ghost, he's quite a charmer. Spectres, they can range from friendly to hostile, I have met both. Hunted treasure, spectres have all sorts of strange valuables on them. I think I have gotten like a piece of soul that somebody gave and actually it made my sim younger. Like she went all the way back of the young adult stage of age. And I think you can also give them soul, which means that you will age and become older, slightly older at least. And I think it's an interesting thing. Um, how you get these gifts from them is you have to give them something you created yourself. So I choose to give them paintings, but I think cheaper version would be probably like the table where you craft stuff. So, paranormal, paranormal activity. Things get weird around here, especially at night. Your sims will definitely take notice. Accursed objects, my least favorite thing of this stuff. Occasionally strange artifacts will find their way into your house, keep your eyes peeled. And it's like this weird doll, the little splashes on the like slime, green slime on the floor. It's alive. Try keeping the entities of the house on your good side. So basically I use the table every day to cleanse the house. Be brave, each successful knight yields reward store points for all sims, so they get like 200 points, which helps you a lot to get the investigator license. Aspiring investigators welcome. Become a paranormal investigator with the help of Gidri. I did not use his help, I actually saved enough uh, reward points and bought it and took a freelance job to become a paranormal investigator. And then this question marks, she's coming for you, and she's horrible. Uh, she doesn't look horrible, but it's just this mean ghost, a red ghost, and because of her, my previous sim died, basically. She makes everything break, she's completely impossible to talk to, I don't know if we will meet her this time, it would be fun. She broke everything and because my sim lived alone, she, she tried to fix some electronic stuff and she got electrocuted. So even though it was a bit of my fault in it, I still blame this she that is, has came and broke everything in the house. So it works like this, you become freelancer, paranormal, paranormal investigator, you select a gig, so you can have beginner, adept and expert levels and you get paid 750, 1500, 3000. I went to two of those gigs and my performance went all the way down, I'm not able to do it, but we will do it for sake of this video. So we chose easy one and it will start later today at 9.30 pm. The medium one last time took until like 6 a.m. So that's quite a lot of things to do and it's best to come very prepared for it. So about the skill itself, medium skill, hone your spiritual powers. Sims embarking on this journey will eventually be able to do things like summon the dead or host their own seance with other sims. The medium skill, skill is increased by using interactions on the seance table. And it's just like a small skill basically, you only get to level 5 and that's maximum. So we can do speak with the dearly departed, uh, we can do ghastly ritual. With this ritual, for the short period of time, you become a ghost. I don't understand why would you do that. Another thing is you can um, invoke the dead, so you will summon the dead onto the load. I had many versions of this, from ghosts coming to those little flying shits coming and ruining my mood and everything. Then we can do the ceremony, which make house a little less haunted. Successful ceremonies also make sims a little less scared. That's an interesting one. I do it every day in order to have those flying things green, not blue, not red, not anything, in order to keep away this she thing that they spoke about earlier. Then you can sense how haunted the house is, so you can we can actually check this ourselves. Okay, so specters, it's the flying things, will be friendly, paranormal activity is reduced, and that's what you get for doing this interaction. Another one of my favorite is Summon Bonhilda. I actually like her name so much. If this sim ever gets a child I want to kill, to call 
I want to call him Bones or Bone. So now we are summoning Bo Bone Hilda. Oh, woo! And here we are. That's Bone Hilda. Look at her incredible shoes and a whole outfit. I love her. She works like a maid, so she just cleans the whole thing and leaves. She's quite flirty. Actually, they all are incredibly flirty. Even with this Gidri, we are boyfriend and a girlfriend at this point. We cannot make them get pregnant. Well, we can do Wuhu just for fun. But yeah, now you can see a little bit better the house. I absolutely love it. It's a big pleasure to play in this house. I don't know how I will let it go. But I think once I have more magic slash paranormal things, I will play a bit more with this family. Ah, that's another thing I have gotten from the little flying things. They gave me this uh, jar in which you can put one of them. So I put the angry one and I called him Planchette. Okay, so we have one hour left for the gig. You can send her alone and she does well for me 70% of the time. Sometimes she fails. Otherwise you can follow her and usually I fail but I will try my best now. And that's like the main part of this video is me trying to make it happen. <sighs> so let's go for it. Oh, whose house is this? We just have exorcise the lot. Either a piece Factors, remove a cursed object or perform ceremonies on the seance table to make this place less spooky. There's not many things we can do, so let's do cheerful introduction to the host and then knock on the door. Let's see this house, I've never been here. I am so confused with who might be living here. Oh, I know who they are. Okay, so it's not that bad, right? So we can do present offering and give them a confident painting. As I said, oh, thank goodness you are here. Ask to leave. Oh yeah, he agreed to leave. Oh, and we hate this woman. She actually came to say to us, welcome to the neighborhood. And my sim has like mean traits. So she's snob, hot-headed and evil. And also has dastardly from choosing a deviant's aspiration. So they became like enemies immediately and they even fought on the spot. But I'm going to help them. I'm gonna try. So let's just ask them to leave. Oh no, he rejected to leave. Okay, now my sim is scared and I don't know what to do about it. So let's get a confident painting to them. Oh, I didn't like it. Let's try to give a bit of soul. So as you can see, we are young. Oh, he took it. She got older. Okay, now he left. And left a gift. Oh, what is this cartoon? It looks like Chukadipu. Oh, you know what I mean. I love this cartoon. Oh, he did. Oh, no, he didn't go. Let's try to give him a... <gasps> she took my... She took my thing. <gasps> she drank it. Oh my god, she drank my drink. Okay, I am not doing a good job at this. I have no idea. My gift was stolen. She's going to cook. I don't know why. So, another thing we can do is create a seance circle. It costs five simoleons. In this seance circle, we can perform a ceremony. Gazoo Remove creepy doll. Okay, well, maybe if we remove also those two plants. Okay, that feels better. Hold on, what if we can actually do it? Remove the plant as well. Oh, geek complete. Oh my lord. Nice work, investigator. Peace has been restored. For now. You earned simoleons, you also earned a reward object. <gasps> Go home. So I'm very excited about the reward object. Because the drink has been drank. By that woman that I hate. <laughs> so I don't know, why did she drink it? It wasn't hers. Okay, so we have a new object. Oh my lord, it's a creepy doll. Hello, Dahlia. 
need therapy, you can tell Dahlia anything. Talking to Dahlia will soothe and decrease fear. So let it all out. She is here for you. And we can actually try it. Talk to Hello Dahlia. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, true. Dis fear disappears. Oh, that's incredible. I did not know that. Well, and that's about all you do. So you become this person in the world of The Sims where that's your life and that's what you do to survive. Uh, luckily for me, The Sims I chose can actually probably stay quite wealthy for at least, I don't know, 15 generations? Like, this 1,500,000 is a lot of money. I don't know if it's even possible to spend it all. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I think it was a good little addition to the game. It's definitely something that took me a couple of days to get used to, but I think I will get a lot of use of the build and uh, cast items. It's a very good designed pack and this slot is very good. I highly suggest to everyone who haven't tried this slot to, to, to try it. So another thing I prepared for today is I'm actually in search of a new pack for me. I have a lot of packs. I don't have all of them. As you can see, I am i haven't bought yet. Uh, Dream Home Decorator, something I would really like to try. Star Wars Journey to Batu. Uh, Nifty Knitting and my first pet. I only don't own those four, but I only have base game and the paranormal installed. So I made a wheel. So I have game packs in blue, stuff packs in green, and expansion packs in turquoise. I did try this wheel a couple of times, and it actually never got to the same one, and it never got even to the same color area, so I'm very happy about it. So I want to spin the wheel to decide which pack I would like to have next installed in my game, and maybe do a similar video uh, talking about the pack and what I liked and disliked about it. Let's go for it. Okay, let's do it. So we got Stranger Will game pack. That's interesting. I have never played it. I have no idea what that is. So this will be very interesting to try. So next time we can try something else. So I think we spoke about all of it. I guess it becomes repetitive. So I went now overall three times to somebody else's home and maybe stayed about 10 nights at my own home in like paranormal home and it gets annoying after some time and you don't want to relieve these memories again especially once you max the skill level so that's kind of where the game stops for me in this case and I have no more desire to do something about it and I don't want to be the investigator anymore and I have zero desire to live in the haunted house at this point but free made that was fun so anyhow guys thank you so much for watching uh, let me know what you think about this video and about the stuff pack maybe i have missed something um, please let me know because probably i forgot something for sure and maybe even haven't experienced it in the pack please don't forget to check my other videos click like subscribe and leave a comment and i will see you in the next one bye bye